Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're going to be taking a look at my list of the top 5 best decks in the game right now in Clash Royale for winning battles easily. Whether you're winning battles on ladder, or challenges, or global tournaments, these are the top 5 decks, in my opinion, right now in the game. First, we had a 3.0 average, looks a super fast cycle, Royal Hog, Skeleton Barrel, Earthquake, Swarm deck, Firecracker is OP, Earthquake is OP, so is the Goblin Cage and the Royal Delivery, making this deck a very strong contender in the current meta. Deck number two over here, gonna be the new meta version of Giant Graveyard, with once again guys, the Goblin Cage, Nightwitch in there for Swarm, Musketeer, and the Dark Prince as your support units. Deck three over here, it's gonna be a fast cycle Hog Rider Earthquake Bomb Tower deck, with the recently buffed Royal Delivery as well guys, very very strong card in Class Royale right now. Deck number four over here, it's gonna be another fast cycle deck, tons of cycle decks in the meta right now, this is a Royal Giant 2.9 Elixir Heal Spirit Cycle deck. Very, very solid. But then finally over here, we had the fifth deck, Mega Knight Wallbreaker's Control uh, with the Royal Delivery as well, guys. One of the stronger spells in Clash Royale right now with the recent damage buff, guys. Overall, these are the five decks we're taking a look at today, guys. We're going to go ahead here and do one live battle with each of these decks, starting out with deck number one first. All right, here we go, guys. Jumping in to battle number one with, of course, the deck number one, the Fast Cycle Royal Hog deck that's currently taking over the meta in Clash Royale. Gonna go a little bit aggressive here with some bats and a uh, Skeleton Barrel to start. The bats will force out a uh, spell right now. There's that spell. There it is. I'm gonna use this here, this here, and then this here. Boom. All right, cool. Let's go. Goblin Cage protects the Firecracker. She stays alive, and then we destroy the Battle Ram right lane with the help of the uh, delivery. So, he's forced to go something here. Probably a... Uh, I wasn't going to say Bandit, but that's okay. That's actually a good defense by him. So, he's got E-Wizard in there as well, is my guess. Typically, these P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Bam decks will have Electro Wizard in there. But he's back to Zaspal, so he doesn't need it. He chooses to soak the damage anyways there. That's interesting. Kabu! Nice, let's go. So the, the uh, Firecracker basically just des destroys the entire push there, guys. Nice. We have a 500 damage lead roughly here so far. So we are looking pretty good here, pretty good. And I'm just gonna go Piggies here in the right lane. His Dark Prince is out of rotation. So he's gonna go E-Wizard here. Yes. And then we're going to get a um, Bats down here for this P.E.K.K.A. He's got Zap Enhanced with Zap right now. One of these, one of these. There we go. And the uh, Brawler pops out. Smack those Barbarians. We will take a uh, Bandit Charge to our face right there on the right. But the Firecracker finishes the P.E.K.K.A. off. Finishes the Bandit off here. And I might apply some pressure with the Piglets. On the right right now, guys. We'll see how that goes. He's going to go Dark Prince for this. Poisons it as well. Very cool, very cool. I'm highly okay with that. Let's go Bats right here. Get our Goblin Cage ready for this. Alright, we good. And once that locks onto that, we're going to like this. This here. And I want to get potentially... Uh, we're going to go World Hogs into this bush, guys. That tower's going to go down right now. With the help of the piglets. As the earthquake slows things down. And then it's just a matter basically of defending here. Which might be a little bit more difficult than we expected. Just because we did spend a lot of elixir here. But that's okay. We can deal with that guys. Pull it over to the middle here. Delivery this jazz. Bats right here. The brawler gets a ton of work done there guys. Look at this. Ready for it? This here. Smacks the Barbarians, and then comes out here, and then we get some Skeletons for that. Bandit will charge, however, we do have one Earthquake to finish this tower off right here, so this is GG's. So, a little bit crazy there near the end, but we were in complete control the entire time, so I'm happy with that. Uh, good game, well played. All right, jumping in to deck number two, guys. Battle number two over here. This is the giant graveyard deck that is sweeping the nation, the globe entirely right now. Um, been seeing this deck quite a bit recently. Um, he's going to have a Zap Skeleton's deck, which indicates a balloonage. 
We gotta go snowball here for this, because we uh, were a noob and we didn't go Govin Cage like we needed to. But that's okay. No balloon damage, not even death damage to our tower. It was a little bit of an overcommittal though. Gonna see a Valkyrie here, most likely. Oh, he missed the Musketeer! She locks on, he zaps the bats and misses her again. Yikes for him, dude. So, he just fireball zapped. Do we want to go aggressive giant graveyard? Yes, we do. You can never go wrong with aggressive giant graveyard. Skarmy here. Maybe a Skarmy. I thought he might have Valkyrie in there, but it appears I am incorrect in that fact. Oh, the mini P.E.K.K.A. Yikes, so you got mini P.E.K.K.A. and Hunter? That is a lot of, uh... It's a lot of, uh, heavy hitters. Wait for it. Let's go. Nice. So, I almost overcommitted there. I almost used the Musketeer on defense as well. But the thing is, is she's basically your only uh, strong air D. So, you can't really go wrong with that. I mean, when I say like that, you don't want to like misuse her, basically. So, we don't need Snowball there. That's dead. I'm going to go try it up here. Because, you know what? Why not? He's going to probably go Mini P.E.K.K. behind that. But we still have the bats. I mean, Firewall works as well. But the tower's still dead. Mini P.E.K.K.A. here for the giant, most likely. Or he just ignores it. Uh, I'm going to save my, my, my snowball for his balloonage. I don't want to overcommit too early right now. So we're going to chill. Goblin Cage here. DP action for this Mini P.E.K.K.A. right here. And now we have the uh, snowball in hand, guys. To knock this balloonage back right here. Boom. We're going to arrows it as well to kill it. It's going to get one shot to our tower. Not the best defense there, but we didn't have Musketeer in hand, so I may do with what I had. Which is basically what you have to do when you're in that scenario. One more Goblin Cage here. He's going to go one more Balloon here pretty quickly. This time we have Musketeer in hand, so we should take zero damage to our tower. Snowball here for the Balloon, knocks it back. Kills all the bats as well. And then we can go actually Giant Graveyard opposite lane here. He misses his Fireball, going to go... Graveyard here, giant action as well. Get the uh, potential arrows if he goes bats here shortly. Right now, there we go. And that is very, very close to being a three crown without being a three crown. About as close as you can get. Dude, look how close that was. Literally two more seconds, we have a three crown victory. But overall, good game, well played, dude. Good game, well played. All right, keeping it going over here, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We are facing off against our dear friend, King Axel, up top there. And we are going to start off here with nothing to start for now. And I want to see what my friend has. All right, so he's got a Lumberjack. Going to be a Balloon deck or a Golem deck. Most likely Balloonage. But also most likely... Nah, it's definitely going to be Balloon. Just based off of the night in there, I suspect we'll see a balloonage. Um, maybe right lane? Poison? Wait, no, 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 no. It's definitely not balloon now. People don't use people don't use that in, in uh, poison and balloon decks at all. A delivery deck? I mean, uh, Ram Rider, guys. What in the world? What's this bro doing? All right, let's go. What you got for me, broski? Pekka? Nadal right here. First quake this jazz. Slows the Lumberjack down, allowing more hog shots overall to his tower. And then a knight just survives, the delivery gets in there, and uh, basically dies to that, and pulls us into the damage lead. So now that we know it's a Ram Rider deck, uh, it changed. Yo, how did that Barbarian get a shot? I thought Barbarians at the bridge there didn't get a shot to your tower. Was he raged? He must have been raged. There's no way. Lock for chip damage. Get ready for a potential Ram Rider here. All right, night, night, left lanes. So we're looking pretty good here so far in this particular matchup. He might try and go. Yes, yes, yes. I knew he was going to go try and do that, guys. He's sneaky. Why does he got Valkyrie and the, uh, the, what do you call it in there, guys? That's weird. Valkyrie and the knight is what I was saying. Anyways, um, I knew he was going to go Magic Archer there, guys. I was waiting for it because... Uh, I tempted him with the Knight by the King Tower. It was so tempting, he couldn't refuse it. Gonna go Bomb Tower here for this defense. This here as well. 
Spear Goblin is distracted Lumberjackson, keeping the bomb tower alive. Log for chip cycle here. And the great thing with this matchup is honestly, even if he goes, uh, what do you call it? Like that, we just deliver it basically. Like this. Boom. It's all dead, baby. It's all dead. Ram Rider's dead. I'll just back here, actually. Hog Rider right here. And then we can Earthquake to slow his tower down. Allows more hog damage. The, the Earthquake is sneakily strong with Hog Rider. Because a one health Hog Rider can very often get one shot to the tower with the help of the Earthquake because it slows everything down. So GG's well played. That was, uh, I mean, pretty easy. I don't know what to say. That was a pretty good matchup for us, too. So, like, Royal Delivery just destroys the Ram Rider. So, two Gs. All right, guys. Jumping into deck number four over here. We do have ourselves the Super Fast Cycle Royal Giant deck that is absolutely disgusting so far this season, guys. Um, minor by him. So, definitely going to be a minor deck, we think. Uh, Firecracker here over the Valkyrie. Wall Breakers here for this Goblin Cage. Boom, and a boom. He's going to have Bomb Tower in there as well, most likely. Bomb Tower, potentially Skeleton Barrel as well. We'll see. Alright. We are going to see a uh, Miner here. Yes, there it is. Uh, I'm going to go Delivery here. We kind of have to. I don't really want to, but the one freaking Bat survived, bruh. So, we're going to go ahead with a uh, Firecracker here soon. He most likely has Poison in this deck. So I'm gonna go Firecracker right here. If he goes Wall Breakers, we got Goblin Cage in hand, basically. He might have a... What do we think he's got for, for our DPS cards? Inferno. That's interesting, boys. I mean, he gets King Tower activation, but we don't really care about that. Because uh, we have go Goblin Giant. I mean, Royal Giant. So we're gonna go Royal Giant right here to support our Goblin Cage. Ice Bear to heal for the bats. Also heals up the uh, Royal Giant. Destroys three bats. Royal Giant back to full health, basically. And then a Firecracker here to finish this push off. Destroys that Jazz. Hits the bat, potentially. And the misses the Valkyrie. Dude, Firecracker, I gotta say, you gotta go back to Firecracker in school. Because you missed the Valkyrie. You disappointed me. Very much so. Alright, so, um, Brilla going back there. I was going to go back to support that, but I figured let's just chill. He's not back to Monterey yet, so we are okay with that. We're going to go slow Royal Giant push right here. He might try and go Valkyrie Wall Breakers, which if he does, we can go Royal Delivery for that. One of these. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Going to heal up our Royal Giant right now, guys. Keep him alive. Get some bats down here. Get our Earthquake ready for the Inferno. We know he's ready for that, Jazz. Firecracker here, please. Kills the Inferno Tower. Firecracker's just shooting. Nice. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Delivery here for his uh, recruits. Not those back right there. Gonna go bats. Fire Spirit. Heal Spirit. Heals the RG up. Let's put this down. Delivery here, please. I'm going to get one more Royal Giant down here as soon as we possibly can. Literally as soon as physically possible. We're going RG just right now, guys. RG down here, baby. Delivery this. Get the recruits down there. Boom. Earthquake this jazz, and that's game. That's game. That's a pretty close battle, but uh, I felt pretty confident there, so good game. Well played. Alrighty, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, jumping in to deck number five over here, we have ourselves the updated Mega Knight Wall Breaker Control deck against our dear friend Saga. So, um, this deck's actually a ton of fun to play, as long as you're not a noob, but. That is for another day. A different conversation for another day. You know what I really wish I had right now, guys? Is freaking Earthquake, bro. Although, you know what? We actually got some decent damage there, guys. That is some respectable damage for sure. He's going to have a... Goblin Giant in there, apparently. 
Potentially a Sparkinator, maybe? Balloonage? What do y'all think it is? The only reason why I'm making it there, guys, is to prevent the Spear Goblins from locking on to my Musketeer. Is basically, yeah, it is. It's, it's the freaking Sparky, bros. Mini Pekka, maybe? Snowball. So the Musketeer gets in there, guys, get some work done. Is that this? The reason I zap there is the Mega Knight is actually targeting the uh, Sparky as well, so. One minute back a shot, we will soak that. And then our tower will finish the Sparky off. So the mini back a shot sucks. It's unfortunate. But at the same time, it was necessary. If that makes sense. There's no way to really stop that. If that makes sense. If I go a minor here, does he predict it? He might. No prediction for you, sir. Okay. I see a Brabra. I'm gonna go delivery on your Sparkin area here in a minute here. He might go opposite lane. If I were him, I would go Sparky one lane, Goblin Giant opposite lane. Easily what I would do, guys, for sure. As you see right there, that is his plan of action. Mega Knight here, please. Is that this, please? Nice, let's go. Musketeer, my onto that tower right lane. Guess get some damage done there. He's got a Musketeer of his own? Well, that's kind of spicy. We're going to go a Miner here. Bath for this. Wall Breakers from the middle here in the pocket. And that should be game, guys. Tower goes down there. 127. The question is, yeah, there it is, baby. Is that this? Let's go. The tower on the right, left lane is dead, guys. We got, we got to go in for the multi-tower victory here. Wait for it. Will break, he's here. I think he knew he was done for. He just wanted one crown, basically. Good game, well played. Good game, well played, dude. There you go. There you, there you go. Anyways, guys and girls, that is the end of the video. Here are the five decks one more time. If you want to give them a shot yourself, first we had the Fast Cycle Royal Hawk Skeleton Barrel Swarm deck. Then we had the Giant Graveyard deck, the new meta version. Then we had the Hog Rider Bomb Tower Earthquake Fast Cycle deck. Hog Cycle, or sorry, Royal Giant Cycle over here with the... Uh, Heal Spirit and the Firecracker, and then finishing things off with the Mega Knight Wallbreakers Minor. Tons of fast cycle decks, guys, destroying in the meta right now. Lots of strong cards like Delivery, Goblin Cage, Earthquake are in the meta. So give them a try. Let me know how they go for you. Let me know which deck you think is the best of this list. But that is the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching. We shall see you in the next one.